unbelievable. I felt the heat run through my feet. Then my heart missed a beat. Hey, you think we are here to play? Carry your own luggage and move around the square. Your mother. Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hello, my name is Lillian and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in to see this video. Curiosity got me here. Curiosity got me into this video. I have been thinking, how do people get into the country? A country that a lot of people do visit, like Ghana. A lot of people do visit Ghana as a matter of fact we like it or not for various reasons for tourism for education peoples for medical peoples for whatever research name them people basically just come to Ghana for so many reasons and I have been wondering how do people come into the country and I mean the country still remains safe without any issues like or smuggling of whatever into the country by by foreigners so due to that i decided to do a little bit of research on how immigration officers are being, being recruited into the ghana immigration service and please understand that this video that i will be playing most of the videos i get them from their page so whatever information you see out here is something that they want out right so i felt like okay let's go take a look at these guys that are keeping the country safe that are doing their best to avert so many things coming in because they are bad guys everywhere in the world trying to import their whatever into other people's spaces so for ghana to still keep it together i want us to see the process of training how these guys were trained to become who they are today that contribute immensely to the safety of ghana so let us go and take a look i'll be back for some of those youth their day started as early as 3 a.m those young people numbering about 5,000 in these long queues are seeking to be recruited into the ghana immigration service Okay, my name is Yawamuzu, um, first degree holder from University of Cape Coast um, in history and English. And then uh, yeah, that's all. I, I also have an um, um, ICT background. I've done computer hardware and networking with website and graphic design as well. I, I take off my shirts, my trousers. Yeah. So, what, what did they look out for? Um, my body to see whether like I've done any tattoo or do some piercing. Yeah, but I haven't done none so. They just write on my paper qualified, body qualified. So. The process of becoming immigration officers had just begun for those applicants. These applicants were instructed to hold up their documents and begin running into the stadium. In the stadium itself, there was more running for these applicants. The nature of our work is, 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 is such that if you are not strong and you are let at certain border points, the terrain and the patrolling route is such that you need somebody who is strong, not somebody who walks just a mile and fatigue setting. So we have to have the basic requirement of being medically fit and strong. Then you have the academic qualifications because you need to make some intelligence uh, decisions and analysis and all that. So at least you have the basic requirements. If it's a general duties, you should have a WASI, a diploma, or an HND. If it's a the officer cadet call, at least a, a, a tertiary qualification. Welcome to the Immigration Service Academy. In a land where honor is everything, where will tangles with wits, there's only one way to stand out. This is a women's quality. Work is available only when a man or a woman is in that state of mind in which there's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critics Make them scared! You have to be you 
Every day, you shit, shave, and shine. The unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally. You are standing damaged like this. Is this your gaga? You know your gaga. Because every time you break it, in every way that you break it, it's a chance for you to give up and for you to fall apart. But they're going to get faster and get tougher and get more stable and get more resilient and get better. Now, I want you to know that it is a reaction video and according to the YouTube community guidelines, I don't have to just go on with the videos without making commentary, without giving my own thought without contributing something to the video so for those who may be tired of seeing my face oh keep playing it no we can't do it like that okay <laughs> i have to follow the youtube community guidelines i want to believe you may be enjoying it and you want it continuously like that no when i first landed on this geographical space of our world i felt the heat run through my feet then my heart missed a beat hey you think we are here to play? Carry your own luggage and move around the square. Your mother. What won't kill you will only make you stronger. You think you can't go any further? No. And keep pushing. Just keep moving. You will get there. As a matter of fact, it's closer than you think. I miss the warm embrace of my mom. Can you ever work on the bosom of my mom? The smooth, inspiring where steps echoing in my ears. You know the part that got me, you know, I was, I was laughing the entire time. A lot of the students that are coming into the academy do so looking plumpy, well built. A, a lot of them, some of the people are plus size and some of them because of the food that we eat and sometimes due to lack of time, you know, to exercise is a problem. So what I was laughing is that transformation from being that plus size to a slim fit person and please i'm not saying plus size is not a good size okay but how these guys are able to do the magic to turn you from a plus size to the size they want you to be is why i was laughing the entire time when i was watching these videos all right so i think they do not know what they are signing up for <laughs>
a lot of people look at your job from distance and they look at it to be like oh i wish this is me ah uh, everything look glamorous right you don't know the process to get to where you are going and that have been me for some days i've been on that back and forth like I have been thinking, how did YouTube look so simple and easy to some people that has made it look like it's nothing? So here I am wondering, do, did these guys know what they were signing up for? I think a lot of people wouldn't have because when you see the uniforms, you see the parade, you see all that, you see everything and you see the respect they get you may be tempted to think it's a joke do you still want to join let's go back to the academy and i'll be back let's go to listen to the pain you did it it was all you you have come so far yes mind do the pain congratulations to you and to greater days ahead you are the perfect definition of strength where people want to back out this is like a journey of no return you don't come say you don't come you are in you are in this is like the nollywood occult society that we do watch in movies where you know a friend or a relative or just random persons will try to recruit other people into their society and then only for that person to realize that oh, okay at the beginning you want it you want the money you want everything inside you want the respect you want all that the other person is getting by the time they realize the price they have to pay to get all of that they want to back out so but it's a point of no return this service this academy reminds me of that like really there are ladies and gentlemen that wanted to leave like i don't do again you get it it gets to a point where something is hard and you're like you know what i'm done i'm done it was a mistake i'm not supposed to be here but at this point bro you can't go back sis you are in bc you are in let's go back to the academy <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs>
Why going? I wouldn't like you to lose your rank on them from the scratch. Let them know. And they know already that you are their seniors. Why is going out as an intake system? I would like you to go, to go and copy the wrong team. Go outside the met up the good ones and come the good ones from them at the end. After watching this video, when next you see a slim fit, flat tummy immigration officer at the border, my bro, my sis, you see why these guys are like that? They are well trained. Like some of them were not born this way. They were made this way by the service to fit what they want them to be seriously i wanted to know i have gotten so many reviews from people coming into ghana from other parts of the world in 2022 i welcomed a friend i went to the airport i made a video i welcomed a friend who didn't want to be on youtube at that time over the time i have i have received people into ghana maybe you know they have come to ghana through just asking me a few questions some of them are non nigerians and then they have one review so they have not really there have never been any of them that gave me a negative review about the immigration officers maybe asking them for bribe maybe this could be you know happening but i have not had anyone complain to me so i said okay so now i get it that is plus the fact that people come in and out of ghana and nothing we have not heard of any anyone importing dangerous whatever into the country that is why i said we should take a look at them and do it to leave your thought down there at the comment section i would like to know if you are going to join the ghana immigration service as for me and um, my household mm -mm, is on my calling now listen i love their uniform i love the job i love the respect that comes with it i love them but i don't think i have the strength to go through all of that training that gets them to the part that looks glamorous anyways let me leave you with a clip of after tears come joy let's play that and i will be back let's go part i am interested in yeah the other vigorous training that you want you want to back out they won't let you i know duo okay if i am joining it's only this part here the music part you know where god bless the homeland ghana that's the part okay where you see me parading where you see me at the airport holding a dog or where where you basically see me asking you to search your luggages by yourself that is the part that lily is interested but you see the hard part thank you very much anyways let's take a minute and appreciate the immigration service because it's not easy it's not everyone that will give their time their life for the good of their country and there's so, someone stated it in the video that yeah you have to we are ready to die to defend our country <laughs> i love it anyways i hope that you did enjoy this video and um, i would like to read from you are you interested or not if you are i would like to read if you're not i would like to read and i hope that you did enjoy this video as i will see you in another one